Hello everyone, this is Uthris and welcome back to Let's Build Lothloria episode 22. So in the last episode, uh, you know, you guys really like the stables and the trade depot. I shifted the trade depot over two or so squares. That way you have a little bit more room to park a cart here without blocking the entryway into the actual town. And you know, that, I think that was a really good suggestion to have and I think it worked out fine. Also added, you know, a little bit more details. I added a bit of rocks, uh, stonework, you know, as if they're importing some stone because I don't actually have a quarry built yet. So I figure that would be, you know, something the town would need to import. So added a little bit of a area for maybe a pasture for the horse. Um, could have a few horses in here, I would think, and just ups the storage count. Of the stables just a little bit off camera I went ahead and made one of the first small farmhouses and their attached little plot of land that they work on so inside you know it's fairly small they have one big open room and then an upper loft area so you know it's a, it's a nice little quaint uh, hut and I think in this episode, we're going to be trying to tackle the windmill. And this is going to be the windmill. This uh, foundation is going to hold up most of the weight. And then it's going to have a single story. Uh, it's not really flower production. Flower storage, I would say. You know, waiting to be shipped out and in. I almost wish, instead of like building a hand cart. Because, I mean, the things we build are kind of larger structures. That they would almost add a handcart that you would like grab and push around like a wheelbarrow and you would take that you know through the path and then dump it out somewhere just just building a wheelbarrow it's not too efficient in this game it's really big and bulky it doesn't make sense so we'll go ahead and build on the windmill and so we're going to try and make the tower a partial your uh, circle here and that's that's just because you know a square base with a, a more cylinder top can look pretty interesting I think and it will definitely set it apart for most buildings now this thing is going to be pretty tall so I'm gonna be checking structural integrity every now and then just to make sure it's going to be able to stand. And I did not set up my heart bar for this and I apologize, but um, I can probably do that here in a second. Maybe just do a little cut. Just trying to focus for the initial uh, walls. So, you know, that'll be kind of the shape of our basic windmill. And then I'm going to add the mechanism for it to turn up here. You know, it'll be about, I mean, this tall. I think this is a good height. I don't know which side I want the windmill to face. I mean, it can face uh, towards us right now, and that will look pretty cool as you're walking up to it. And from this layer, you walk up and oh, there's the windmill blade and the little house. Um, and I think that will look pretty cool. But also facing this way. You know, we'll give it a nice dynamic feel as you look upon the castle walls. You would see a nice windmill turning on the left side. So, I just don't know yet. I might actually just do a bit of the small house now. I'll go ahead and just drag down some walls that I need for it. And so since I've been on YouTube a lot, um, my awesome girlfriend, who, uh, it's, it's my birthday on, tomorrow on Friday, so she went ahead and ordered me a uh, nice microphone, because I was using a headset, and I'm hoping this one will turn out a little bit better, and so far it's working freaking awesome. So, kudos to her on that, and we'll go ahead try and lay out 
this structure as quick as possible. Like so. And this will just be a single story little thing. I'm trying to decide. Maybe. Yeah. There's going to be partly a cone on top, so that'll be fun to work on. Because it's kind of a. It's not a perfect cylinder, and cones don't really work usually like that. So, and go ahead and top off the roof. Now, this might end up being a bad idea to, to do this so early just because the the mechanism isn't built yet and it might confine my uh, building just a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I need to delete this section here because the roof doesn't quite fit and I'm going to need a specialty kind of uh, stone block round in and that way it, it's I can walk it up and flush it up to the roof so I'm gonna need one one more like so so now now the roof is nice and sealed and from the outside you know it's, it's a nice flush joint the structural integrity is still fine which is good go ahead and add just a little porch thing here and we'll actually do a double wide porch one will be a ramp for like wheelbarrows and another one will be a staircase for just normal foot traffic like so so you can kind of pop a wheelbarrow down this way and this is double wide just because I'm sure there will be a lot of foot traffic through this area in between the mill and the farmland Go ahead and put some wooden floors. That way the roof, in a sense, is sealed off for these. And let's see, what do we got left? I guess we'll just start working on the mechanism here. So there's a couple ways I can do it. Let me just make a bar full of engineering components. So we need a rotor for sure, because otherwise it would have to be a hand crank windmill, and that makes no sense. Um, it would be nice for if the windmill would actually like be powered by the wind rather than needing a rotor, and I'm sure that's that'll be in the works eventually. Okay, I think that's good. So I can either put the rotor down here. And have it powered through the top and it would spin up here and then we'd have to make a gear forcing the and changing the gear spin from a vertical to a horizontal spin and I think that's probably the best way and it'll, it'll kind of make the bottom here feel a little heavier which would be nice and then what I'm going to do is also attach a element on the outside that'll kind of walk around that might look like a millstone or maybe one above it here and it'll, it'll kind of walk in this area on like a little platform which implies I'm going to need a inner staircase to walk all the way up on these walls so this will be a pretty interesting experience I think because I've actually never, I never miss with rotors too much. Actually, I haven't, I don't think I've built anything with them yet. So, we'll just have to see how it goes. So I'm going to make a nice wide frame. This way I can still hit the uh, trigger point. And then I'm going to... Um, do something with this. I guess bring it in. So, 
somehow. Maybe, maybe I'll bring up the, the square base here. That way you can see in and trigger it. But it won't. It won't actually be completely empty. I'm rambling again. This is what happens when I start engineering things. I, j I just kind of run out of things to say because I'm trying to get the rotations to do what I want. And sometimes that can be a big pain. So can I fit cross members here? Only one. It wouldn't look very good. So I think what I'll do is, is this an even or an odd? number it is odd well at least I can make a center point on it which would be pretty cool actually no there's something I need to do I need to center so since it's odd, the the center of these catch blocks are centered kind of for an even spot. So I actually need these four. And what this is going to do is basically off center a new center point onto this structure so that I can use it, and it's not going to spin, which is fine. You know, it doesn't need to spin. Let's see. I mean, the whole structure is spinning, which is cool. Again, I've, I've, I've never messed with these, so I just don't know how it's going to perform. Um. Missing in these catch blocks, I guess, is it's it's just gonna make the center point uh, workable, and put a catch block in the middle here. I think. Again, I mean, like there there are plenty of people that are just better at building these type of things than I am. And most of this is probably just going to be off camera work, which is a shame. And this is really the first time I'm trying to build it anyways. So it just might fail miserably and take a couple iterations. But basically, I think now it should be a... Yeah, see how it's an even number now? Instead of odd. And what I can do with that... Bring in all these sides here. And I'm going to stick a catch block in the middle, which will be kind of the main shaft. And the reason I'm using a catch block is simply because it needs to. Um, center up on this device so like so now I don't know if spinning that spins I think it does I think the whole uh, structural will still spin correctly And then from here, we can go ahead and put our axle all the way to the top. And as a test, we'll see if that spins when I turn this on. It doesn't at all. Um, okay. Ah. Not really what I wanted.
And so there's a couple ways I can fix this. I can use rope, which might add a cool layer of detail to this. So maybe if I was to do something, I don't know what. Well, shoot. It would have been really nice to have that. Just a long center shaft, you know? It, it just would have made total sense to have it work like that. And since, you know, this, this structure doesn't have a good center point, I can't just throw it on the trigger, I don't think. And plus it makes the trigger unusable as far as I know, unless you can trigger it from down here. Nope. Definitely cannot. So. Okay, so that might have been a totally failed experiment. Or, what I can do actually is bring this shaft down. Like so. And make a little custom gear thing here. That'll run in some into the toothing from the outside. It should cause it to spin. Yes. So, there we go. We have that centered up. Pretty beastly looking thing. I don't know if that looks good. But uh, it's, it's spinning on an actual true center point now. And so I'm going to go ahead and fix this off screen and I'll be right back. Okay everyone, so this is the shell of the windmill. Um, I've been working on this thing for quite some time. I've had the windmill actually fall off, the actual blades, um, because when I put the roof on, it actually collided with the windmill and it exploded in a wonderful fashion. And uh, yeah, so, so it does spin. It has four fairly large blades. Um, the roof is fairly interesting, I think. It's just a, a plus shaped roof. And I think it covers up on top of the tower fairly nice. It does look a little phallic, yes, but that's how these things tend to go. Inside, you know, this would be like the workshop. And I'll be adding details to this off camera in between episodes. I just wanted to get this thing done today. And it has a staircase that goes up. I had to make this one a little bit more narrow because the main gear mechanism was running into it and really it just feeds the single shaft all the way up and then I turned it sideways and it just pushes on each other causing the windmill to spin I don't even know if it's spinning the right direction actually I probably should have checked that let's go check that now it should be like cutting into the wind I think and it's spinning backwards awesome Shit. Well, I'm leaving it. So, uh, all you windmill fans out there, it's officially going backwards. And it's... Deal with it. Just deal with it. So, uh, yeah. I think that'll do it for this episode. Next episode, we'll go ahead and finish up this plateau. And work on some more farmland. And then maybe some, um, animal pens. Uh, and try and finish up this this real nice and then the episode after that I think I'm gonna add the defensive battlement here and maybe some slums that might be attached to it and uh, yeah I think that'll do it for this one see you guys in the next episode feel free to leave a comment and subscribe